Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight about how to see view you now. And I will share with you everything that comes through the energies and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. How does he view you now? I will share with you everything that comes from the energy and not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you would like a private reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy and naturally draws you here to the card that represents sanctity. And with this energy, this is about a creative evolution as well as you surrendering your doubts, worries, and fears to the divine. And here with the creative Evolution, I see that he sees you as looking more attractive now. You're more attractive because of the way that you're moving about in your life, the way that you're taking care of yourself and taking care of your business as it does relate to your career and your goals. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? And you have here <laughs> the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is one that was right there. <laughs> it was right there um, with the energy coming through here with creative evolution. So with the Knight of Wands, this is fire energy, representing the fire zodiac signs. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries are in the top placements of the birth chart of the sun, moon, or rising sign, the seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus here, in your birth chart or his birth chart as a confirmation in the reading. But specifically here with the nine of wands energy, I can just see that um, he sees you standing your ground. You're standing your ground. You're keeping persistent boundaries in place as it does relate to your relationship with him. You're maintaining those boundaries, not giving in to his every call, to his every desire. So he sees you as being very strong-willed right now. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How does he view you? <clears throat> And thief, yes, you're not allowing him to steal your energy. I love this. You shed light on the potential of wealth within you. And that can never be stolen. This energy, the high vibration energy of the thief here is in great correlation with creative evolution, the card that you're naturally drawn to. You shed light on the potential wealth that is inside of you, and it can never be stolen. I can definitely say that, you know, sometimes he has the ability to drain you and steal your energy just by you letting your guard, guard down and not protecting yourself. He does steal money sometimes and like creative ideas, even your affection and, or other powers that, um, that he thinks he lacks. 
He'll try to steal that from you. Things that he feels like he does not have, he'll try to take those from you or other people. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? You, I, I regret lying to you. <laughs> this is a very strong indication, a very strong correlation as well. <laughs> and he regrets. He's feeling lost, regret, grief, you know, feeling um, abandoned, feeling unloved due to his own actions, due to the things that he did. Things that he said to you, lying to you, not being forthright and honest, open, sincere. Thank you, Spirit. And he views you as someone that is worthy of the truth. Someone that is worthy of love, worthy of loyalty. Let's get more insight. That's because you're standing up for yourself. You're, you're keeping your boundaries in place. You're going on about your business and making sure that you take care of your life. Make sure that you focus on your career and your goals. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. You have here the moon. And with the moon energy, this is significant because the moon, it rules over the zodiac sign of cancer. So cancer is definitely in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart, as mentioned earlier. And thank you, Spirit. And with the moon, this is about um, the intuition. The moon represents the intuition and how now you can see things a lot clearer. It represents your emotions. Your emotional quota is on fleek. Your emotional quota is strong. It's high, meaning that you recognize, you know, things in him that you did not recognize before and you're very strong emotionally this is what he does see the moon also represents the mother so the mother is quite significant in here he sees you as being like a good mother someone that can also be a good parent as well and let's get more insight thank you spirit and how does he view you now how does he view you now Transparency. I love transparency showing up for you because the energy of transparency, that supports your expression toward a higher vibration, you know. Being this state, being in this vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. You are vocal. You are sincere with your feelings. You're transparent with what you will allow, what you will accept, what you will remain and keep for yourself as in way of your emotions, your creative ideas, your goals. So he knows that he can't just show up with anything for you, telling you lies and you believe it. You don't. You know the truth already before he comes with, you know, his BS. You know what's going on. Thank you, Spirit. I love this for you. Let's get more insight. And how does he view you now? The snake. And with the snake energy, he sees you as his enemy. That's how he sees you. He also feels like there's competition for him in ways of other divine masculine energy. He competes with you as well. He sees you as a competitor. Mm -hmm. This guy is very clever. So I'm so glad that the moon card showed up with spirit also encouraging you here to trust your intuition, trust the actions that he's shown you, trust the things that he said. You felt like you have to look over your shoulder when it comes to this guy. He feels like you think that there is another woman. There is a third party. You have a strong intuition that there is someone. Spirit is wanting you to trust your intuition because you are on a creative evolution. You are on a level up journey here where things are getting nicer, brighter for you. 
loyal friends, deep loving partnerships, business relationships. Your emotions are really strong. You are in tuned with your divine feminine essence. So trust your intuition. That's a strong message coming through here for you. And beautiful number one, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, if you would like a personal reading, and visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on how does he view you now? And I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you would like a personal reading, please visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see your energy. You're naturally drawn here. Mm, to this beautiful card of blue. No one would ever forget how you felt at that very day. No one could ever forget. Listen, in the right way, forgiveness here. He feels regret regarding his actions, something he said, or even something he did. Something you had high expectations for him, and he did not come through. He was not able to fulfill his promise. How he showed you, you know, the things that he showed you, how he presented himself. He was not able to come through with that energy. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? He sees you as someone definitely is being forgiving. You're trying to forgive him, to say the least. You are trying to forgive him. Spirit is encouraging you to forgive this person because you always want to be radiating at a high frequency. And forgiveness is a high frequency. That way you will allow the true connections, love, and loyal partnerships to flow through to you naturally because that loving forgiveness energy does flow through you. You will be magnetized with the energy of true love and abundance. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you? <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, this is physical energy. High vibrational earth energy representing Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in the top placements of the birth chart. The sun, moon, or rising sign, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus here. Thank you, Spirit. So I see you as being someone that is extremely attractive, very physically attractive, gorgeous. He loves every essence of your divine feminine energy. And also here with the Ace of Pentacles, he sees you as someone that is able to get your own money, to raise money. He sees you as being highly invested in, you know. Um, the universe is really conspiring in your favor here. You know, he sees you as someone that is good with money, able to invest. So be very conscious. I feel like this person is sometimes out to get something physical from you, such as money. Be very conscious of him and his moves. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. But he does see you as being very good with money. He sees you as being highly worthy, highly favored by the divine. Let's get more insight. You've raised your worthiness. You recognize your true greatness. And this is how he views you. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here transparency. And with the transparency energy, this is a clear indication here for you to know that the energy of transparency, that supports your expression toward a higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. I love this showing up for you because it's about your intuition, about what you are recognizing within yourself, that greater version of yourself. And you also see 
the greater version within him, but you're also recognizing things in him that are making you quite uncomfortable. And he knows that you can see what you could not see before. I love the transparency card showing up as a confirmation here in the reading. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. How does he view you now? How does he view you now? And you have your hammer. And with the hammer, energy. He sees you as rebuilding your life, moving forward. There was something that happened in this relationship connection where there was like a sabotage or a, a, a just several relationships that caused you to say, hey, I quit. I am no longer investing my time and energy and space into you. So he sees you as rebuilding. This person wants to reach out to you and communicate with you. It's kind of like a, an interrogation energy, repetitive energy from this person. But he sees you as being very persistent here, working on it, working on your emotional well-being, working on your finances, your job, creating new income for yourself, grinding, growing, leveling up. That's how he sees you. And you're very clear to him as to what you want, what you desire, and what you will tolerate in this relationship connection. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? Ooh. And with the Nine of Swords, this is about communication, air, energy. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra are in the top placements of the birth chart. The sun, moon, or rising sign, seven thoughts of relationships, or even the planet Venus. And his birth chart, or your birth chart, as a confirmation in the reading. I also want to point out that pentacle energy to Earth. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo are seen here as well. But with the Nine of Swords energy, this is about communication. The Nine of Swords is about you. You are keeping and maintaining your boundaries, and you are persistent. You're persistent with the healthy, healthy boundaries that you do have in place as relating to this relationship connection, and he knows that you are. He can feel it. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? Do you have here a trickster with the trickster energy? <laughs> You're able to transcend, you know, the convention, the stiffness, and the predictable behavior of this person. Of his manipulation, his mind games, his, you know, that energy he has to not really be himself. And spirit is encouraging you here to forgive this person because sometimes you do chuckle because you're like, hey, you don't even have to be that way. And why are you that way? And it's so weird, so strange that you behave that way because this person does have a lot of greatness within him. But he behaves, behaves in a way that makes you shake your head, manipulating others, you know, through duplicity, just over and over and over again. And it leads him in this place of his own despair. He's operating out of his ego and fear, and you recognize it, but you're very forgiving, which is very good for you. It keeps your heart light and free. It opens you up to receive the energy that is truly for you, loyalty, appreciation, love, and understanding from someone that will connect on your vibrational frequency of love. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? You have here, we need to let go of each other. Well, yes, because he sees that you are not no longer invested as seen here with the Ace of Pentacles, representing the investment, you are no longer putting all of your attention into this connection that you feel like you're not going to get anything out of. So he sees that 
He feels like this is your message. We need to let each other go. This is what he feels you are saying, you are needing, you are wanting to release this connection. And Spirit is encouraging you that it's okay to let this person go. Let them go with love. Let them go with love. And as you let them go with love, love shall come to you. Thank you, Spirit. And beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, if you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on how does he see you now? And I will share with you everything that the energies give to me. And I will not leave anything out. And please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. Let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn here to infinite, luminous, mystery energy. And this is such a beautiful card. Such beautiful flowers. Let's see what it says. This is about your silence, your harmony within, as well as energy of unity. This energy does represent the solar plexus chakra. I do want to point out that he sees you as someone that has withdrawn your affection and your attention, withdrew your energy. It's kind of like you're in a meditative state, really going within now for more clarity. It's like you're in this hermit energy, a quest for personal truth and spiritual illumination. He feels you that you're unbothered right now. He sees you as being more beautiful, glowing up, moving forward, letting go of things that no longer serve you in this relationship connection. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? And you have here the Five of Pentacles. With the Five of Pentacles energy, this is about Earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And seen in the top placements of the birth chart, the sun, moon, or rising sign, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus in his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation in the reading. With the Five of Pentacles, I can definitely see that he's worried right now. He's worried that you're not worried. He's bothered that you're unbothered. Thank you, Spirit. Because he's concerned, you know, and wondering why he's feeling the way that he feels. He feels a loss in connection from you. A loss in connection. And it makes perfect sense because you decided to really just focus fully on yourself while trying to understand him, putting more energy into what you need to do for yourself day to day. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you right now? How does he view you right now? You have here transparency. And this is the third time that this card has came out in this reading. This card has came out three times in each deck. So you're encouraged if you are here at this deck and with the card coming out the third time, which is very rare. It's very rare for that to happen. You're encouraged to watch the other two decks if you feel naturally drawn to them. With the transparency energy, this is the energy of transparency that supports your expression towards a higher vibrational state of being, you know? And it's with more insight, honesty, and clarity that you are living your life fully expressive and letting him know, hey, this is how I will have it. This is how I desire a connection. And I am worthy of what I feel I need from someone else because you're giving that energy to yourself as well. 
So he sees you as being very um, high value right now, very transparent, clear, honest, and insightful with what you need for yourself from this relationship connection. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? How does he view you? I feel you even though we are apart. So this is about a separation and disconnection. Emotional disconnection here. He still feels you. He thinks about you night and day when he's awake, his awaking hour. He dreams about you as well. Thank you, Spirit. He sees you when he's out in public. He tries to find you in everything that he does. But see, you're unique. You're different from all of the rest. You're very unique. Have your own energy from anyone he's connected with. Whether it be a platonic relationship or romantic, he can never replace you. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? Thank you, Spirit. How does companion? Look at the companion energy showing up. And I just said this. I Spirit just gave the insight of him even maybe contemplating a companion or a different companion. It's impossible to do, to find someone like you, your warmness, your generosity, the way that you put energy into the relationship connection with him. It's different. Your love hits different. Your love is loyalty. Your love is understanding. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. Loyalty and tenacity and just really like, it influences him. Thank you, Spirit. You know, he operates just sometimes out of betrayal from missing, like, by missing confidence, loss of, like, his personal identity by trying to be someone else, trying to fit in with society, what society says he should be, which is why there's a disconnect here in this connection. He's listening to someone, maybe on the internet, saying how he should live his relationship, how he should be as a partner, as a masculine energy. And it's totally interfering with what you have here going on with the connection with him. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you? The palm tree. Yes, he views you as being having stability. You offer security in a relationship connection, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. See, you're fern, but you're fun. Your love is secure. I love how the palm tree is here, cut a corner to the five of pentacles, that earth energy, grounded energy, practical, loyal, and reliable. There's a very strong confirmation showing up here in your reading number three. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he view you now? Woo, eight of coins. <laughs> lots of coin energy, lots of earth energy, physical. He views you definitely as being physically beautiful. Physical, physically beautiful. Lots of earth energy. Thank you, Spirit. He loves the way you look. The Eight of Coins is about your focus. How now you have, you're very focused on mastering your craft and enjoying your employment. Enjoying what you're doing day to day. And he knows that that is taking away from your focus for him. He knows it is, and it bothers him a lot. It, it makes him feel, it, you know, unstable as well. But Spirit is encouraging you to always put that energy into yourself. Put yourself first, because that greatest love of all is the love of yourself and the forgiveness of anyone who may have trespassed against you. Letting go of any negative energy, letting go of that energy with love, 
sending forgiveness, love and light to this person is how you are operating. And it's, it's, it's bringing you lots of blessing, lots of abundance here in your life in a physical way. Thank you, spirit. And also spiritually, you are radiating and aligned with source. Beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, if you would like a personal reading, visit my website at claritybay.com. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.